One of those, the latest, is Keith Hansen, Shreveport's Chief Technology Officer. Hey, Mr. Keith, welcome back to Keel. How you doing this morning? You there? He's there somewhere, I guess. Hello. Hey there. How are you? Okay, we, we just do take two. We'll edit this for the network feed. Yeah. Keith Hansen, Shreveport's Chief Technology Officer. Hey, Mr. Keith, welcome back to Keel. How you doing this morning? Great. Okay, so here's my, first, here's my first question, and it's a true or false. If we knew okay. how easy, if we knew how easy it was going to be to run a city from our house, we'd have done it a long time ago. <laughs> uh, false. That is <laughs> not so easy. <laughs> so, I, but uh, so, I am so, very proud to see the... Um, just looking at things like badge access logs, I mean, you know, we're we're down all the way from, you know, 100% capacity to, it seems like 50%. So, you know, a lot of people are working from home right now. That was going to be, you just answered question number two, what percentage of city work is now being done away from its usual place? Good Lord, man, 50%. How hard was that to implement, not only from your perspective, your job, but the people the people, for them to adapt so rapidly, you must be pretty proud. Uh, I'm very proud of my IT staff, yeah. <laughs> we have, um, you know, we, we started really working on all this about, um, you know, most of us are now at home in our fourth week. So uh, even really before the, the major stay-at-home order, um, we had started kind of prepping and kind of saw the writing on the wall that like we were not prepared to have hundreds of people working from home and um, we had to scramble and make a lot of good, you know, fast decisions and then implement them. A lot of concerns so, from, from people, Keith, that are working from home, not just city workers, but a lot of folks, a lot of my coworkers. What are some key things they need to watch out for? Because, you know, you've got all your staffers that are dialing into the city's computer from home and and the city's stuff may be at risk. Corporate stuff may be at risk because people's home computers may not be as protected. Is that an issue? So um, we actually are allowing personal devices um, right now, um, and you know, it's temporary during during the um, crisis, but. Um, uh, we are allowing anything that's going to hurt our network. Let me let me put it that way. What so, are you What are you looking you know, out for? What are you watching out for? What are you telling your What do you tell the average person who's listening to watch out for with regard to because we're we're hearing these hackers are you know having a field day right now with everybody working from home. Well, you know, I mean, it's mostly up to your IT staff to to protect you from or protect them from you, I guess. That's <laughs> really what you guys are kind of asking. Is like, how, how do we not hurt our, our own workplaces that we're trying to work from? But, um, you know, you can download things like Norton Antivirus. You know, you can run your scans. I mean, that's, you know, before we let anybody's personal desktops onto the network for for a, a lot higher access, then generally we're already in there. You know, we ask you to download the thing, and you know, we—it's called Team Viewer. We dial into your computer. We look around. We make sure that you know uh, you've got an antivirus, you've got anti-malware, um, spyware detection, etc. Um, and then from there, we are locking down our remote access. So there's a tool that really won't allow any viruses to, to kind of uh, get from your computer to ours. And that's, it's totally possible. It's always possible. But uh, we're doing every single mechanism we can to make sure that that doesn't happen. It doesn't get from your computer into our network. Okay, um, Keith. Keith, let me ask but you. But those two tools. Let me ask you. Any virus and any malware. Uh, Zoom, Zoom, whatever it's called. I don't know. If you had, If you had a <laughs> friend in your life that maybe wanted to play bunko with her her pals or an acquaintance <laughs> and and do it and do it and do it digitally online how mm -hmm. how doable is that is that something that you know some kind of geek like yourself could set up um sorry i called so, you geek. Yeah. my bad no, oh no 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 uh, I, I wear it with pride um <laughs> so, so yeah i mean you you could definitely do that um 
you can use uh, a tool like Zoom. There's Google Duo. There's Skype. There's FaceTime. Um, there are so many video conferencing platforms that to choose from. So, the, the, and the best? What would you recommend? Mm, we are still evaluating. Um, you know, we had to make a decision very quickly, uh, and so we went with Zoom. Although I will say, even if I just we just got through training like so many people on Zoom, but um, we're probably going to switch. Uh, honestly, there's just a lot of uh, too much hubbub out there about uh, the security flaws through Zoom, and I'm already evaluating alternatives with a few uh, willing participants. But okay, you know, you don't want, do you want to name your top choices beyond Zoom? Not for free. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There is actually a really cool free one. It's called Jitsi, J-I-T-S-I. Um, I tested it out on my app and desktop. Had no problems. We're probably not going to be able to use it just because we did find some problems with, with even some of the IT staff. Okay. So, um, but, you, but you can't you share know. wine through Jitsi, right? No, not yet. Uh, I think they're st I think they're working on that in their next features. Keith, I can't <laughs> especially think. with the coronavirus. You know, every time, pardon me. Every time we talk to you, especially now that there's so much home stuff going on, I get I get the feeling like I've got Matthew Broderick in War Games on the phone, and <laughs> and Aaron has traffic tickets to fix. Yeah. We'll call you back. We'll call you back later. If she does, don't answer. 